and given the vectors in uh, Euclidean space R3, U, which is equals to 2, 1, minus 1, V, which is equals to a half, 2 over 3, minus 1 over 4. In this tutorial, I'm going to find the inner product of U and V, and then go on and normalize U. By definition, uh, the inner product of U and V in Rn is equals to A1 times B1 plus A2 times B2 plus up to An times Bn. And the n there is the dimension of the vector. In this case, we are having is uh, three-dimensional there. So for our inner product U dot V, it will be the first element of a U multiplied by the first element of V. So we have two times a half. And then we are now looking at the second elements, one by two over three. And then for the third elements, minus one by that minus one over four. And that will simplify to one plus two over three plus one over four. And uh, the result there will be 23 over 12. Now moving on to the second question, where we want to normalize uh, that vector u. And the norm or length of a vector u is uh, the square root of uh, the inner product of uh, that vector and itself. And if the norm of a vector is 1, then uh, the vector is uh, called a unit vector or is said to be normalized. So in this case, uh, what we want to find there is uh, the normalized vector. And for us to find the normalized vector, we have to divide uh, that uh, given vector by its norm. So what we are looking for is uh, the u divided by the norm of uh, u. The norm of u we are saying is the square root of the inner product of uh, u and u. So we'd have uh, u divided by the square root of uh, the inner product of uh, u and u. Earlier we said that uh, the inner product u dot v is equals to a1, b1, a2, b2 up to a n, b n, multiplying the corresponding elements and adding them. In this case, uh, we are having u dot u, so we are looking at 2 times 2 plus 1 times 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. So under the square root sign there, we would have the square root of 2 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus minus 1 times minus 1. 2 times 2 is a 4, then plus 1 to give us a 5 plus 1, it will give us a 6. So our normalized vector there will be equals to 2. 1 minus 1 divided by the square root of 6. I can then go on and uh, divide all those components there by the square root of 6 so that we can uh, rewrite that uh, normalized vector is 2 divided by square root of 6, 1 divided by square root of 6, minus 1 divided by square root of 6. So that's uh, the normalized vector there. It's a unit vector in the direction of uh, that uh, given vector u.